No, we thought it would be this time, but we're very disappointed. We, we gave it a good try second half, but you know then we struggled a little bit as the game went on. Um, yeah, it was okay, but, but did, another disappointing result. Oh, uh, not meant to be then, I guess. It wasn't, no, but well, you know, that first half we just didn't put it together, did we? We you never know, seemed to show up first half. Never seemed to show never. again. And oh. Got better second half, though. Second half the... we played with the better side, yeah. obviously. Um, and there was that one shot in the second half, I thought we had it. it was, I don't know who it was. Uh, obviously we're disappointed, but we're Shrewsbury fans, we'll be back. Uh, unfortunately not. This is, uh, well, we're from Australia, so it was very exciting to come to this game, but uh, left disappointed, unfortunately. Yeah, what do you think of the balance of play? Do you think they, they, think they deserved it, Rotherham? Um, well, they definitely had more shots than, than we did, but um, well, they probably played better um, in extra time than we did. We just looked a bit, um, a bit tired and wrecked towards the end of the game, and mm -hmm. um, they were peppering the goals. And, uh, fortunately for us, one went in, but that's how it goes. Disappointed. Yeah. Uh, got it. Do you feel that it was uh, Rotherham was deserved to win the game? Uh, he probably slightly just edged it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been a, an amazing season, hasn't it? But just just fallen short. Yeah. Yeah. Just at the end. But, uh, unbelievable what this team had done this season. Just didn't come out first half, did they? No, I think that I think Rotherham were the better one. Uh, I think we were all right until the goal, and then they were on top. Um, and then second half, I thought we played better, deserved the equaliser, and just couldn't push on for, for that winner. I thought as the normal time went on, I thought we were looking good. And then extra time, we, we struggled a little bit. Um, oh, can I just say goodbye, Paul? Do you, do, you, do, you yeah. think, do you think that Paul Hurst will be? He's gone. It'd be, it'd be nice. What about Paul, though, but whoever we get in? Yeah, we're sort of. I think, I think you'll find he's on his way, unfortunately. I'd like to think he'd stay, but I think the Ipswich jobs is. I've just had a look now, he's 1 to 10 on the go to Ipswich, so. Fair play to him, I say, if he's going to go there, mm -hmm. move up the league. It didn't help with the, uh, with the injuries as well, they had to use the substitutions earlier than, than they would yeah, have liked. Yeah, yeah, we just had no substitutes late, late in the game and we could have definitely used one. So they, they looked like they had more in the tank and um, we just looked wrecked by the end, so that's how it went. Yeah, it didn't help with uh, using the substitutes so early as well. No, it was difficult with a couple of them being injured and of course it's so hot out there, mm. we, were, we were knackered in the, uh, in the, in the seats, mm. so what it was like on the pitch. So if we'd have had another fresh pair of legs it might have made a difference, but it wasn't to be this. Yeah. I mean, the obviously relegation contenders at the start of the season. It's still, it's still been a we've cracking a, season. A, but oh, of course we have. Course we have. You, awesome. would, you wouldn't have bet on this at the start of the season, would you? They've you taken know, us like on a hell of a ride. They've taken relegation favourites, you know. But you know, we're obviously it's disappointed. But that's football, isn't it? What's it? What is it about Shrewsbury and Wembley? I don't know. I hate the place, though. <laughs> I don't want to come back again. Dean Henderson, some super penalty savers in inspired form. Do you think if it went to penalties, uh, there might have been, may have been favourites? Yeah, obviously the penalty save was, was unbelievable. He had a couple other cracking saves as well. Um, he played really well, but penalties is a flip of the coin sometimes, so who knows. Dean Henderson in inspired form as well. Yeah, made some great saves and fair dues. He, he Two really good saves that kept us in it towards the end of normal time, so, and one in stoppage time. So. Yeah, it's just a pity. Two, well, two set play, plays. Did you, you think know, with uh, Dean Henderson's save, that if they got to the penalties, you might have been favourites? Well, yeah. I think we're favourites. Yeah, you know, it, it was a good penalty save, obviously, but, you know, that's football. Isn't it? Yeah. Next season, what are your hopes? Well, we go again. We go again, don't we? Gotta, yeah. You know, got to go for it. Again. You know, I'd like to hope he'll keep a few of these players. Um, yeah. And my heart and the belief the team had, to be fair. If we yeah. have that next season, you know, whoever our manager is. They fell apart the last few games, but all in all, it's been a cracking season for Shrewsbury Town. Paul, Paul Hurst, uh, obviously linked with a move to Ipswich. Do you think he'll be there uh, next season? I'd love him to be, but if I was him and I got an offer like that, I'd probably go, unfortunately. Yeah. So I think I think there's a few good players that we might not see next season. Abu Ugogo, unfortunately, the three loan players. But we'll see. We've made some money this season from the cup run and the playoffs. We can get a good manager in and, well, hopefully, let's, let's not talk about Hurst going just yet, but we can be optimistic for next season.